been playing this game for a very long time. I'd like to shout out everyone who does this on a weekly basis. I don't always comment on your things, but I'm running almost each and every single thing posted here on the Fantasy Bookers Reddit. I've been playing this game for a very long time. I absolutely love it. And this will be my first experience venturing into this world. Hopefully, you guys enjoy what I do. So let's go ahead and start the first show. NXT number one. Sure. These are the results from the NXT Wrestling being held by NXT Wrestling in front of 2,688 people in Macon City. Renee Young, welcome to NXT. I am Renee Young, and this is NXT. With me, as they will be every week, is Tom Phillips and Corey Graves. Welcome, guys. Thanks, Renee, and glad to be here, Corey and Tom would say. Let's head to the ring. Apparently this segment was not very good to begin with and the crowd really turned against it. Fantastic. The show opens with Triple H in the ring. Triple H, this is NXT. The camera pans around and focuses back on Triple H. Now let me introduce to you the new commissioner of NXT, William Regal. William Regal's music hits and he hits the ramp and into the ring. He's actually the current commissioner of NXT, but, you know, starting off in such and such. The NXT commission storyline has advanced. William Regal shakes Triple H's hand who leaves the ring. Regal, well, 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 thank you, Triple H. Now on to business. No waiting, yes. We are starting a tournament that will crown the NXT champion, and that tournament starts tonight with all four first-round matches. Tonight you will see Bracket 1, James Storm take on Rhino, and Samoa Joe take on Tyler Breeze. You will also see in Bracket 2, Solomon Crow take on Baron Corman, with Finn Balor taking on Ty Dillinger. And that one starts now. I don't know if you guys like it, but I always enjoy the quick match start off to the beginning of Monday Night Raw. In a match that had some good action, but not in the main, much in the way of heat, Finn Balor defeated Ty Dillinger in 735 with a diving double foot stomp that we will be changing to the coup de grace. The NXT Championship storyline has advanced. After beating Ty Dillinger in the first match of the night, Finn Balor celebrates after a tough fought victory. The segment wasn't very good to begin with, and the crowd turned against it. Fantastic again. The camera backstage catches Tyler Breeze in the background looking at himself in a mirror. Tyler brushes his hair very slowly as opponent for tonight, Samoa Joe, walks up and puts his hands on his shoulder. Joe tells Tyler that he can't wait for the two to wrestle tonight and he's going to put on a show for the NXT universe, audience, whatever. Tyler Breeze blows him off and tells Joe not to touch him. Breeze tells Joe that he should enjoy being in the tournament because after tonight, he won't be. Tyler says he's destined to become the NXT champion and Joe is having just the first obstacle. He stops looking at Joe, scratch that, Breeze says, roadblock, standing in his way. Breeze flips his hair and walks out of the scene, leaving Samoa Joe with his Samoa Joe smirk. And about that, I saw it in ring action, but not in the match play. Heat, Baron Corman defeated Solomon Rowe with the end of days. Jason Albert and Corey Graves work extremely well together at the announcer's table. Now, that's unfortunate because Jason Albert wasn't supposed to be announcing this show. I will have to go and check that out. Apologies. <laughs> Off to a smashing start here at NXT number one. We cut backstage and find Triple H in his office as William Ringel walks in. Riggle thanks Triple H for the opportunity here in NXT, and Triple H says, not a problem. Riggle asks Triple H if he heard the announcement he just made, and Triple H said that he did, and that he has full control. Riggle goes on to leave, but Triple H stops him, reaches the door, and tells him that he will be around, indicating that Triple H will be keeping an eye on Mr. William Riggle nonetheless. Continuing the advancement of the segment. Rhino, backstage in a promo. James, tonight it's you and me, pal. You and me. Just tonight, remember that when you're down on the mat and your eyes are glazed over, the blur is me. Gore, gore, gore. The camera fades. I'm a fan of wrestlers, you know, hyping up the match throughout the show that they're going to participate in. I really like that, you know. Um, I think it adds a lot to the show, you know, making the match seem important. In a match that had some good action and average heat, Samoa Joe defeated Tyler Breeze at 11.45 with a muscle buster. 
Oh man, Jason Albert and Corey Graves, they are fantastic together at the announce table tonight. Just, just amazing. After having just beat Tyler Breeze, Samoa Joe looks down to Breeze, who's on the mat holding his neck as he just smiles. Joe walks up to him and pretends to flip his hair and proceeds to leave the ring as the camera sits on Breeze, whose eyes are rolling into the back of his pretty little head, frustrated. James Storm. Tonight, you and me, Rhino, go one-on-one -on -one in the main event to determine who goes on to the next round of the NXT Championship Tournament. We had a numerous battles, and I don't expect any. Yeah, we had numerous battles, and I don't expect tonight's to be any different than these previously. Tonight, you and I will enter the ring, square up, and have one hell of a fight. Thorn pauses, and then I'll beat you in advance. The camera fades. Renee Young, Corey Graves, and Tom Phillips again on you know on camera at the announce table. Jason Albert, who knows where he is. Updating, <coughs> um, updating everyone next week. We will have the semifinals in an NXT Championship Tournament with Finn Balor taking on Baron Corman. Also, we will see the winner of the upcoming match and main event of James Norman Rydal take on Samoa Joe. Again, the crowd hates these people. Renee Young. Guys, what a match we have for you next week as well. Next week, we will crown the NXT Tag Team Champions with the VOD Villains. Taking on the mechanics, taking on the Blake and Murphy factor, taking on Enzo and Big Cass. Such a weak segment, really bombed with the crowd. Apparently the crowd does not like my commentating team. Yes, let's progress. In a match that had average crowd reaction and some decent ring action, James Owen defeated Rano in six minutes with a lung blower. The announcing quality though was great. The fans don't like it, you know, when, when they're on camera, but during the matches, you know, they love it. Um, the NXT Championship storyline has progressed. This was the first show of NXT. I promise this will get better and smoother. I have never actually read what I've written before as I built out my shows, but I've been playing this game for a very long time, and I really hope that going forward I can make this a staple of fantasy bookers. I really enjoy the NXT brand, and I hope everyone will enjoy these going forward. 